Welcome to God Level. Your access has been granted. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. It's Mark Allen back at you with another God Level reaction review. Another one. Please keep in mind this is a reaction review video. I will be stopping the video periodically to give commentary. That's just, this, this is how it goes. So without further ado, we got Pop the Balloon of Fine Love, episode 32. Let's get into the ratchetness. Let's get into it. Let's See what go it ahead is. and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Shay. Shay, how old are you? I'm 27. And what do you do? I am an accountant. Nice. All right. So what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to travel. I like to try new restaurants. Um, okay. I like to spend quality time with friends, loved ones. And I also like fitness and self-care. Okay. What are some things you look for in a man? I like... I like a man who takes accountability. Mm. Okay. Um, I love an honest man. Um, I love a man who communicates properly. Mm. And I also love a man who knows how to differentiate between argument and disagreement. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers, uh, lack of accountability, lack of ambition, um, lack of being financially stable. Mm. And that's pretty much it. That sums okay. everything up. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we haven't got any pop balloons yet. So let me go ahead and hand you a pick. Okay. Oh, Lord. I know, right? <laughs> she seems pretty cool so far. Pretty sensible from what I can see. And, um, I mean, it, there's a little slit in the dress. I don't know if I mind that much. Um, other than that, she still seems classy. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. Am I wildin'? Am I being insecure? Like, let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna have you pop two balloons. Two balloons. Two balloons. Whoever's not really your type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop those two. Okay. Um... Damn. He's been getting popped like every one, like the, the, at least the first three that I've seen, including this one. Homie in the front has been getting popped each time. Okay, let's start over here. Damn, his joints is baggy. Like, that's like 90s baggy. That's crazy. It must be coming back. All right, your name and age. Bert, I'm 29. Okay, and Bert, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, I find her attractive. I just wanted to hear her out, see if her mentals mind uh, match her physicals. Okay, okay. Now, why do we end up popping his? Um, I popped his balloon just because, honestly, I didn't hear anything, but as... I didn't like the earrings, um, but I mean, I can't say anything else but physical because he didn't say anything. Right. So okay. just the earrings. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. And All then right. we got one more down over here. Okay. Your name and age and why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Jordan Kenton. I'm 26. And when she mentioned traveling, I travel a lot mm -hmm. as a part of my influencing. And then food, I do a lot of food reviews. Mm -hmm. So with traveling, I do a lot of restaurant reviews with that. So I feel like we can match with that. Okay, makes sense. So why do we end up popping his? Um, like I stated, he didn't he didn't say a word, so mm -hmm. I can only go based off of what I see. Mm -hmm. um, I did not like the glasses. I feel okay, you. so <laughs> I mean, she's the second one to say that. Like, uh, she's the second or third one to say that they did, they didn't like his glasses. From what I can see, they are all right, but maybe you know what? Maybe my taste is off. Y'all let me know. These don't take a bonnet. But know. they're they no, they look Jeez, really nice. Bonnet. They look cool. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Like, am I bugging? Hey, you feel me? That ain't 14 just... karat gold either. What? <laughs> but not mine. <laughs> go ahead, Shay. I'm done. No, I'm done too. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's go back then. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and ask these remaining guys a question to help you narrow it down. Okay. Um, let's see. When it comes to communicating with a potential partner, your intentions, how how do you communicate that to your potential partner? So do I need to go into details? Am I okay. So when it comes to what your what your intentions are with wanted to be with this person like do you just want to have fun are you just here are you here for a okay. marriage are you here for just something for six months so i just 
just want to see like how do you communicate that to your potential partner okay let's start down there and then come back up okay if we can start with your name and age first and then the answer to her question my name is ed lens but everybody calls me eddie i'm medical device sales and i just okay. have a just had a photography startup as well okay. uh the answer to your question um i believe in clear and concise communication i don't want okay. uh anything to be left to interpretation so i need exactly what you want so yeah okay mm -hmm. all right over here your name and age Thank you, and sir. answer to your question uh, Prince, twenty-seven, and um, to answer your question, it would just—it would just be a conversation we would both have, sit down and have. Um, after I said we go on a date or something, or even when we first just meet, it would be a conversation. Just simply sit down, talk about what you want, talk about what I want, see if we can be somewhere in the middle. If not, then hey, you know what I'm saying. But that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Name and age, and the answer to your question. DeAndre, twenty-eight. I would definitely just express it straight up, and see how you feel, for sure. Good. I feel like they're all going to give the same answers. There's no real way, like, when it comes to stuff like this, people are going to say what they think you want to hear. I, I think these shows, like, really bring that out of people because everyone on an innate or a subconscious level understands that presentation or first impression is everything. Message! So they're going to try to say the thing that's going to get the thing, that's going to win them the prize, so to speak, or the treasure, as I like to call it, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you just got to try to figure out if they're genuine or not. <laughs> Name an agent, answer to your question. Uh, Joshua, 27. Um, it's as simple as a conversation, honestly, just trying to see if we have the same see? feelings mutually and see where it goes from that. So, yeah, it's a conversation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Name an age and answer to your question. Uh, Christian, 28. I would say I'm gentle and direct. Um, to answer your question, I am looking for marriage. Um, I'm 28, so I know what I'm looking for. I'm ready for it. Um, but yeah, I'm very um, outspoken. So like when it comes to communicating what I'm looking for, like for example, I'm very attracted to you um, and you're what I'm looking for. So I'm just let it be known now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. okay. Putting it out there. Thank you. All right, Shay, it is time to pop. And we're gonna go with two balloons. Two? Two of them, yes. Okay. Okay. Ooh, all right, let's start with the first one you popped. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Because she's beautiful, I love curly hair, <laughs> great skin. Okay, got it. So, why did we end up popping his? Um, I loved his response. Uh, I loved his response. I just, it, it was just kind of bland. Mm -hmm. Like, I just have a conversation oh, straight up. You know, I just, yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. But it's, yeah. Okay. That's right. Thank you. And then we did pop one more. So why'd you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, I still want to hear what she had to say and get to fill out more of her mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but is she someone that's your type? Like you would go for her? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Now, why'd you end up popping his? Um, kind of the same reason. Um, it was just kind of, it was just kind of bland, um, your response, mm -hmm. but nothing too much. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question though? Yeah. So like, even with your question, you're, you're asking how to, how it would be delivered and not exactly, I, I, I was like, your, your question is not like, when you asked it and you went to detail what you're asking, how it, it would be delivered, not mm -hmm. what like we're going to talk about, what it can consist of the conversation. So the conversation would be more in detail. But if you I feel like if you would have said like you just asked how to, how it would be delivered. Mm -hmm. And besides the conversation, like how else would we deliver what we're you know, what you're asking? Because huh? mm -hmm. if we're texting, that's another way to deliver it. But you're asking how it would be delivered. So I feel like a conversation would be what? the only way you could really deliver that. Not and figure out what's going on between the two of us. So yeah, but thank you. No problem. Sorry. No, you're sorry. Good. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Let's All move right. on. Come let's on. go ahead and ask our three remaining guys another question. Okay. Um. Um. What goals are you guys working on right now, and how important is that to you in your life right now? Okay. Let's start on over here. Um, Christian, 28, um, always working on my relationship with God, um, strengthening that. Um, as far as work, I'm pretty settled, um, doctor of pharmacy, so 
as far as work, I'm comfortable in that area, not really looking to do much more, um, but looking to just get married and start a family, really. Yeah. Okay, over here. Uh, Joshua, 27. Um, my current goals, I'm getting ready to go back to school to get my third degree um, in cybersecurity. Um, also launching a fitness brand very soon and just working on my personal training business outside of, I work in education, so I'm um, working on that outside of that, so yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then our last guy. Okay, let's hear from you. Yeah, uh, I have a few. Uh, I have a photography startup I'm working on right now, hoping to be a little bit bigger. Uh, I want to buy a house in the next two years. Uh, I want to pay for my marriage in cash. Um, I, I don't mind a mortgage, but uh, yeah, those are some of the some big financial goals I'm working on. Boring. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's head on back. So what are some goals you're working on? I know they want to know as well. <laughs> yeah, um, so right now I am studying for my CPA license. Mm. Um, I'm also on the way to graduating with my master's. Ooh. So I'll be done in about three more months. Oh, congrats. Thank you. <laughs> in accountancy, okay. same thing, same career field. But um, and also, that's kind of pretty much it because it's taking a lot of my time. Right, I bet. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. Well, let's go ahead and pop one balloon. Okay. Okay, so Eddie, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, we have a lot of similarities. I value someone that is uh, financially literate. I'm an accounting major myself, but uh, forensic accounting made me go into sales. Don't like auditing. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you're very beautiful as well. Um, I've seen, I watched a few episodes to prepare for the show. I saw you on the show. I thought you were very attractive. So that's that's why. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So why did we end up popping his? Um, he talked a little bit more about photography and just not really into someone that's into photography. What? Uh, okay. No hard feelings. Of course. Of I course. promise it's nothing serious about it. It's just it's just my preference. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> I think also because he he doesn't have a too much of a super masculine presentation. We'll say that. We'll say that. <laughs> Leave it at that. All right, our two remaining guys. Any questions for her? Okay, let's we'll start here. Um, I see you have a cross on. Are you a believer in Christ? Oh, absolutely. I go to church every Sunday. Um, I just got, uh, became a member of a church out here, so okay. thankful for that. Love it. That's it. They might okay. be the match okay. right here. <laughs> Any questions here? Let me stand uh, here. Yeah, I do. Um, what is something that you learned from your previous relationship that helped you grow? Yes. Um, what I've learned was accountability, um, okay. not on my part, but oh, on that boy. on their side. Are you asking for me? Like just what? you in general? Oh, yeah. just me in general. Yeah. Um, I would say taking my time with someone, getting to know someone for who they are, and not just trying to go straight into a relationship with someone mm -hmm. so that's something I learned to just take my time and just kind of get to know the person first because you know that person may want a relationship they say they want a relationship and then you match that same mm -hmm, mm -hmm. energy or and it's really not what it what it is after maybe like three months mm -hmm. it's not what they really want so that kind of concludes my question initially when I said what are your intentions? Oh God! So get to the I point. didn't, I didn't go straight into the relationship and ask that. It's kind of we just kind of got right. together. So being a little bit more patient, taking being, your time. Yes. Right. Okay. So okay, some I, like I learned. Okay. All right, Shay. We are down to two guys. You heard quite a bit from them. They got to know a little about you, but it's time to pop a balloon. She's okay. popping this him. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh I know, uh, I know it's tough I know, right? they had some good responses <laughs> yeah um damn it I'm sorry if I'm like taking my time <laughs> I don't want to look at y'all in y'all face right now <laughs> um Told you. All right. So, why'd you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, I found out she was, she was very attractive. Um, definitely my type. 
um, height wise and everything. Um, she had it, so yeah. Okay, I saw it was really really tough, but really why did we end up eliminating him? Um, I popped my balloon because well, the gentleman next to him, he's just kind of more what I'm looking for as far as long term goals and things. So that's why. But everything he asked me and everything about him is great. So. I respect that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, come on up here with us. Let me have you scoot that way. Go over there. Okay. All right. Any final last one question between the two of you? If not, don't worry about it. I'm good. You're good? I think I'm good. Okay. Well, then, (laughs) is it going to be a yes for you for her? Most definitely. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match. (laughs) Yeah, they definitely was a good, uh, I'm going to say a great match. And the reason why I didn't show her gram, I'll show you right now, is because it's not on display. Her gram is locked. <laughs> she got it on private. I don't know if she just put it on private, but she got 143 followers. She's following 165 people. So it doesn't seem to be a very active gram anyway, or she doesn't have a lot of followers. It doesn't follow a lot of people. Um, This first picture is kind of revealing, but it doesn't, you know, I don't know what her gram looks like, so that's why I didn't show it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, what do y'all think? Good couple, bad couple, is it going to work out? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit all notifications so that you're notified as soon as I release a new video. And always remember, our level is God level, y'all level is our level. Get on our level, you God level. We out.